Macy would be like, well, let me tell you something, baby. What's next to me is Macy's. You never know who you're going to get when you sit down with funny man Major Height, a.k.a. the king of Caribbean comedy. Well, you know, uh, what's next to me is when me left here, so me gonna be a spliff. He's mastered all Caribbean accents, dressing up and playing different characters. Some of them are now household names. I'm borderline crazy, so... It's about 50. Are we all? It's about 50 people living in my brain, right? For more than 10 years, he's been on a trajectory, transcending Caribbean culture, not only into laughable moments, but teachable ones as well, including setting some stereotypes straight. Let's show them what they think they know that they don't know. You know what I mean? So. And, and educating them at the same time. So I didn't have people come up to me was like, you know what's crazy? My mom is from Grenada and I know nothing about Grenada. From sold out shows in arenas around the world. Jamaica, them people on the resort be like, I suggest you don't leave the compound. To interacting with fans when he's not cracking jokes, Major makes time for the community, giving back and spreading positive messages. Let's laugh, let's live and let's love each other because time is short. For him, what's most important is hearing about how he's touching lives through laughter. It's the people that really stop and talk to you and be like, listen, I was on the verge of suicide or, you know, people saying, listen, my mom was diagnosed with cancer and nothing can make her laugh and I showed her your video. Those are the significant things that, that tells me you're on the right path. This Labor Day weekend, Major will be front and center back in his hometown of Brooklyn for the West Indian Caribbean Day Carnival. My grandfather is one of the founders of the Labor Day Parade. Um, when he came here, you know, my grandfather had a band. While everyone enjoys the sights and sounds along Eastern Parkway, Major hopes people will take time to also learn the culture. It comes from pain, too, because people don't understand that the juve and the, the carnival was a mockery of slave owners. You know, that's what they did. They did that to mock the slave owners and stuff like that. And it became something so big that everybody embraced it. We spent time talking about what's next, walking through our newsroom, laughing. What advice do you have for the comedian coming up behind you? I would say to be original. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that I created a lane for people to jump in because it opens doors for a lot of people. In Stitches, Nicole Johnson, Pix11 News.